Welcome back to La Densa Crochets and let's make this awesome pair of two-tone shorts. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and join the family. To make the shorts, you'll need the following materials. Medium weight yarn. I use these two shades. You can use one color if you do not want the two-tone effect. You'll need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then you're going to need stitch markers, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and a measuring tape. These are the measurements that you're going to need in order to be able to create these shorts. You're going to need your hip measurement. Mine is 42. So you'll take the hip measurement and divide it by 2. After dividing 42 by 2, I got 21. Then you're going to need the thigh measurement and the full length of the, of the shorts, then the fly measurement. So take those measurements and let's get into the tutorial. I'll start with a slip knot and then chain 70. The 70 chains are going to represent half of my hips or the hip measurement. So chain up to 70. So you're going to chain whatever chain will be enough to, me to to get you to half of your hip measurement when slightly stretched. So we're going to measure these when we are slightly stretching the chain. And so half of my hip measurement is 21. When this is not stretched, it goes up to 17. When I stretch it out a little bit, it's going to get me to the 21 inch mark, which is what I have. So don't stretch it out too much. You don't want uh, a short that is too tight. So right here, it can go up to 22, but that is when I stretch it too much. But slightly stretching it gets me to 21, as you can see. So now we begin row one. And to begin row one, you hold the last chain that you've just done and chain one more. Then yarn over, put your hook into that chain that you're holding. Yarn over, grab a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Once I have my three, my three loops on the hook, to complete the half double crochet, we yarn over and pull through all the loops. Then yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, grab a loop, get the three loops, yarn over, pull the, through the three. And then we're going to place one half double crochet into all the chains. At the end of row one, you should have the same number of stitches as the chain that you started with. So at the end of row one, I should have 70 half double crochets so i'll just go on place the one double the one half double crochet all through I'm at the end of row one after placing one half double crochet into all the chains to begin row two chain one and turn then we work row two into these stitches so yarn over go into the first stitch put your hook through and complete a half double crochet then into the next chain into the next stitch do a half double crochet and we're going to place one half double crochet into all the stitches till we get to the end of row two So that's the last visible stitch or clearly visible stitch that we have, but that's not the last stitch. This is. So be very careful not to miss that last stitch. Plus a half double crochet into it. We are done with row two. So we chain one and turn to begin row three. We work row three the same way we worked row two. So just one half double crochet 
into every stitch to the end. So we're going to be repeating row two until we have the fly measurements. When you're measuring the fly, you measure while stretching. You have to stretch out your work to ensure that you get the right fly for your shorts. So I'll go on, work several rows, then I'll come back and show you how to measure the fly. I've done a total of 27 rows to get me to 12 inches for my fly when this is stretched. And this is how you measure. So just get one end. Then when you measure without stretching, this goes up to 9 inches. Then I'm going to give this a stretch because we've said that for the fly, you need to stretch your work out. So when I stretch this out, it's getting me to my 12 inches which is the fly measurement that I was working. Now, at this point, we are going to work differently for the next row. And so, at this point, you need to get your die measurements. So, we were working with the hip measurements. And you realize that your hips may be 42, but then the die measurement may not be 21. It may be bigger than 21. So, that's why you need the die measurement. So, half of my hip measurement is 21. And this is at 20. And I mentioned that for the hips, I'm just stretching out a little bit in order to get to the 21. It can, when it's stretched out, when you give it a big stretch, it goes to past 21, which is okay because I do not want a, a short that is too tight. If you want yours tight, you can make sure that you're stretching out your work when you're measuring. So now from this point where we've ended the 27th row, I'm going to chain 15 that's going to get me to 28 inches which is my die measurement so chain 15 you don't have to chain 15 if your die measurement is smaller it depends with your die measurement so you're just going to make a chain and make sure that when you add whatever you have here plus the chain it gets you to your die measurement The chain that you're going to make, make sure that it's an odd number. So mine is 15, so it could be 15, 13, 11, 9, or even 21. It depends with your size. So now we're going to measure this to see whether we've gotten to 28. So without stretching, it's at 24. When I stretch, it gets me to the 28 inch mark. So right there, I'm just going to stretch. Or I, I can fold this into two. It makes it easier. So now when I'm measuring, I'll need to stretch up to 14. Fourteen actually, but it's stretching up to fifteen and I can work with that. Now, after, after that, you need to get the other end of your shorts, of your whatever, your panel, the panel that you're working. Make sure that the chain is not twisted. And then in the first stitch on this end, you're going to connect to form a round, connect with a slip, no, slip stitch, that is. So just put your hook into the first stitch and do a slip stitch. So this is what, what we want to get. I've already worked one of the legs. This is what we want to get after the extension this is what you're you're getting and that's why we are connecting the chain with the other end so now after slip stitching we're going to chain one and turn to begin the next row now when we are working the, this row we'll not start on the first stitch we'll start on the chain so on this chain work a half double crochet and because we've not worked a stitch in the first stitch, when we come to the end, we're going to place a stitch right here. So just place one half double crochet into all the chains.
So I just placed one half double crochet into my 15 chains. So these are 15 half double crochets and that has gotten me to the other stitches and I'm just going to place one half double crochet into each of the stitch all the way around till I get back to where we've reconnected right here. So just one half double crochet into every stitch. I'm coming to the end of this row which is row 29 and this is the first the very first stitch where we did not work a stitch and right there we're going to place a half double crochet then we're going to do a slip stitch onto the first stitch that we did so just put your hook right here grab a loop and slip stitch to complete that row chain one and turn to begin row 29 now as we begin the row we're not going to place a stitch in the first stitch we're just going to go direct into the second one this one right here do a half double crochet there and because we've not done a stitch in the first stitch we'll do that stitch into this gap right here when you come to the end so now just place one half double crochet into all the stitches till you get back to the beginning Now this technique of not working a stitch in the first stitch is meant to ensure that you do not work extra stitches because you might end up placing two stitches in the first stitch and that would increase and we do not want that. So just go on, place the half double crochet, I'll meet you at the end. Once you get to the end, remember to place a stitch into the first stitch that we did not work. So do a half double crochet, then slip stitch onto the first half double crochet. Chain one and turn to begin the next row. We begin in the second stitch at all times and end in the first stitch. So we skip this and work into the next stitch. And this is what we're going to repeat until we get the full length of the short that you want. Now you can actually extend this to get a trouser if you do not want a short. So if you want a, a trouser, you can just keep going till you get the length of the trouser that you want. When you're measuring the full length, you do not stretch. So that means at this point, the full length of my short is, let's see, nine inches and I want to get to 17. So I'll just keep going, working rows and measuring until I get to 17. So this is the full, the fully worked part of the short. And when you measure this, it should get us to 17 right there. So I want to make sure that I work this side and I get to the 17 inch mark. So I'll do the same number of rows that I did on that other one. And then I'll meet you once I have my other side complete. So this is it for my second leg. You need to work two of these that are completely identical. Mine are ready and it's time to join them in order to get the short. So now you need to place them side by side such that these parts are facing each other like this but then as you can see we have the hem here and on this part i want them to be on the same side so what i do is i'll turn one of the legs to the other side either of the two sides can be the either of them can be the right or the wrong side it doesn't matter now at this point i should have chained one and cut off the end so let me do that because we don't need the yarn at this point anymore so just chain one and cut off that yarn so then now we're going to join and you need to determine the middle part of this side and the middle part on this part remember we said the chain that you you're doing should be a multiple should be an odd number so that makes it easy to get the middle stitch so i'll just get the middle stitch on this side and the middle stitch on the other side and i'll join them with a stitch marker then we're going to get this part on the corner on one side 
and the corner on the other side we pin them together like that then we also need to pin the other corner right here so let me do this so this corner and the corner on the other side Now holding your work like this becomes easier to sew. Then this end and the other end, pin them together with a stitch marker. You can also pin the middle part just to ensure that your work is well aligned. Then now this other end joins with this end on this part. So I'll start sewing from this part and I'll go all the way to the other side through the middle part all the way to the other side. Now you can join this maybe with single crochets or you can use the, the sewing needle or the darning needle. Now I'm going to join with uh, single crochets. So I'll just get my hook and the yarn. I'll just put my hook on the first stitch on one end and the first row on the other side, then just grab this yarn with the hook and chain one. Then I'm going to work over these ends so in the first, in that very first row, put your hook through, yarn over, grab a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two. That's the first single crochet. Now we move on to the next row. Remember we are working over the ends. Into the next row, on this side and on the other side, do a single crochet. Now the row that follows will get two single crochets. In the same row then the next row will just get one single crochet make sure that you're aligning your rows the right way this side and the other side so this row gets just one just one single crochet. The next row will get two single crochets in the same row. Then just one single crochet into the next row. Two single crochets in the row that follows. the next one single crochet two single crochets next one single crochet next now I can cut these ends because I've already worked over them So next we have one single crochet then two single crochets next and this is what I'll keep alternating till I go all the way through the middle to the top part on the other side and this is what I'm getting on the right side if you feel like joining with the tapestry needle is easier then do that you don't have to join with a hook
once you get to the stitch marker just pull it out and keep going Once you get to this corner, we are not working on the rows anymore. We are working on the stitches. And so we're just placing one single crochet into each of the stitches as we attach the corresponding stitches on each end. So this stitch on this side, the stitch on the other side, join them together with one single crochet. Then do that into the next stitch and into all the stitches that are in the middle till we get to this corner. So just one single crochet into the stitches You'll get to this corner and then at that point you pull out the stitch marker and keep going. That will be the last the last stitch at that point before we get to the to the rows, to the half double crochet rows on this other side. So I'll just place a stitch at the corner. Then next I'll start working on the rows, this first row and the first row on the other side. Join them with a single crochet, just one single crochet. Then the next row will get two single crochets. The row that follows will get just one single crochet. Then the next one will get two single crochets and then we alternate like that till we get to the top. So, so far this is what we have. So just keep going till you've joined all the way to the top of the other parts. After attaching to this end, I've not cut off the end, I've just pulled out my hook. And this is what we're going to have. Next, I'll do an edging on, on top of the shorts. And I'll just do, because I've not, uh, I still have this color attached. I'll do on this side where the color is. Make sure that you're working from the right side of your shorts. And what I'll do is just chain one, which I've already done. Then... place a single crochet into the first stitch right here and then I'm going to place one single crochet in between the half double crochet stitches all the way around till I get to this point. So just one single crochet in between the half double crochet stitches. This will be my last stitch at this point. Then chain one and cut off that yarn. Now we're going to reattach this other color at this point and do a single crochet all the way till we get to this part. So just get the single crochet on top of the single crochet that you've ended with. Put your hook there and grab a loop then we'll start working from the next gap on the other side 
at these planes right here do a single crochet a single crochet in between the next stitch and just keep working one single crochet in between the stitches Once I get to the last gap, I'll place a single crochet, then slip stitch onto the first single crochet that we started with. So do a slip stitch right there, chain one, and cut the yarn. Then pull through. Next we'll do a single crochet edging at the bottom part. Ensure you're on the right side and in this part we're going to work on the stitches Not in between the stitches, but on the stitches. So just reattach right here And chain one Go back into that stitch with a single crochet and place just one single crochet into every stitch all the way around that part So this is my last stitch and then slip stitch onto the first single crochet that we did chain one and cut off the yarn we're done with the edging on this side then we move on to the other side and do the same thing so grab the yarn reattach on the stitch next to where we cut off the yarn chain one go back into that stitch with a single crochet work a single crochet into the next stitch a single crochet into the stitch that follows and a single crochet into all the stitches all around till you get back to this stitch Since we've worked with the hip measurement, the waist is going to be too wide and therefore we're going to work a chain and attach it on the waist part in order to draw it together. So just grab one shed and start with a slip knot. Then I'm going to chain a hundred chains with this yarn or with this color. And then after that, I'll connect the other color to this, to this particular color and then I'll also chain another hundred chains. Right here I'm reconnecting the other shade and I'm just going to cut off the unwanted ends. Once I have them cut off, I'm going to continue chaining until I have 100 chains. So you want to ensure that if you've worked 100 chains with one shade, you're going to work 100 chains with the other shade. If you work 150 with this, the first shade, you're going to work another 150 with the other shade. So mine have gone up to 115. So I'm going to do 115 with this other shade. And once I have my 230 chains, that will be enough to go through my hips and be able to draw my waist together in order for the shorts to fit onto the, my waist. So just make a chain that will fit through your hips and uh, draw the waist together. 
you don't have to use the two shades you can just use one of the shades or you combine the two shades and do them together my chain is ready and therefore i'm going to attach it to the to the waist of the shorts and i'm going to start from the back part i'll use my tapestry needle to put the strap through and then i'll use it to weave the strap through the waist of the shorts from the back part now weaving in the strap is all up to you you don't have to do it exactly how i'm doing it just ensure that you weave it correctly and uh, you'll have your waist drawn together so i'm using each shade to the corresponding side like the lighter shade comes to this side the darker shade goes to the other side and this is what i'm going to do on both sides so once i'm done weaving this end on this side i'll go to the other side and weave the darker shade I'm done on this side and so I'm just going to turn over to the other side and insert the tapestry needle, uh, the strap into the tapestry needle and just weave the strap onto the waist part all the way to the front part of the shorts. Now right here we have the strap onto the waist and now you can use this to draw your waist together and make sure that the shorts fit so this is what we're going to have and at this point we are done with this tutorial if you've enjoyed the tutorial kindly leave a like a comment share the video with your friends the people that you think will enjoy this tutorial too don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload a tutorial and whenever you get to recreate this do not forget to tag me on my social media pages that is on instagram and on tiktok and see you in the next tutorial